All right. I am about to try something that I've wanted to try for a couple years now, and I finally have what I need to do it. So I'm going to try to make this carrot into a clarinet using a saxophone mouthpiece like we saw on the TED Talk by Mr. L Lindsay Pollack. Um, so what I have is an alto saxophone mouthpiece with reed and ligature. Um, I didn't have the hose joiner that he used, so just in the spirit of creating things, this is actually a marker cap like off of a Crayola marker or something that I drilled out in the middle. And I've got electrical tape to um, make it fit. And then I have a huge carrot, which is really hard to find a carrot that's long enough. It needs to be at least 187 millimeters long, and this one is a little bit longer, but I'm curious as to how big it's going to be down here. Um, he did everything in millimeters. I don't have millimeter uh, drill bits, so I'm doing the best that I can with standard. So he uses 12 millimeter for the middle. I'm using half eight, uh, half inch. I wish I had a 7 uh, seven sixteenths spade bit. I don't, but what I realized is this is pretty much the size of this, so if I want this to fit, I have to use half inch, which is 0.5 inches instead of 0.47 inches, so that'll be a little bit bigger. And then I do, I don't have a 7 mil bit, but I do have a 9 30 seconds, which is really, really close. So, um, all right, let's see how it does. The only thing I've done is cut off this one end, just barely, just barely to make it flat. And uh, all right, let's try the rest and see what happens. I'm going to do the measurements. I'll post them below. But uh, anyway, let's see. All right, 187, let's see if I measure this right, should be 18.7 centimeters, and I've got my mark right there, so let's chop it off without chopping off our fingers. And we'll start measuring the rest. I'm going to have to, actually I forgot to look this, so I'm going to pause the video and find it, and we'll come back. All right, and we're back, and I went ahead and pre-measured them. They're 39 millimeters, 54, 74. It's hard to read on writing on a carrot. 97, 123, and 140 uh, millimeters. And then on the back, there's one thumb hole that is 22 millimeters. Now, um, I did some kind of pre-measuring. If you look at the half-inch spade bit, this is going to be pretty thin. Right, let me put it this way. Pretty thin here at the top. And so I'm hoping that that holds up, especially since this 22 is really close. So uh, anyway, let's give it a shot. Hopefully I'll put a good hole in the carrot and not a good hole in my hand. Now he uses an extended drill bit, which I don't have. So we are about right here. If I come back from the other way, it should work, but I'm going to have to work really hard to make these two holes line up. This is going to be pretty difficult. Did y'all see that? We shot out, uh, it's on the, it's on my mouse now, but there was like a, a little plug holding it in. Let's see if you can see down through the camera. It's curved a little bit, but look, eh, there we go. All right, well, let's try the other one, see what happens. That was kind of funny. <laughs> shot, shot a carrot plug right out the end. And, uh, hope my computer is carrot proof because I'm shooting little bits all over it. Alright, next up, don't have a 7 mil bit, but this is, uh, what did I say, 9 30 seconds, which is the closest in inch fractions that I could get. The 7 mil, curious as to how much the 12 mil will make a difference, or it being curved. Alright, we'll do what he did and start with the thumb hole. That was easy. A little too easy. Actually, hopefully that's not too thin. 
some holes on the back. All right. We did a, a little pipe earlier in class today, and that was a lot more difficult to drill than this. So, let's see how this turns out. Trying not to poke a hole through the far side of the carrot is really the hard thing. And then one more. All right, there we go. We got a hole in the back. All right, so we've got six finger holes, one, two, three, four, five, six in the front, one thumb hole on the back, and uh, yeah. There's lots of little bits of carrot in there. All right, carrot parts everywhere. Okay. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, I forgot to moisten that up beforehand, but let's just see if we can get it to fit here. Oh. Aha! All right. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> hey, it works even with the dry read. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, uh, even with a dry read and with not a, the exact diameters, we are still getting a pretty cool sound. Now, I didn't do the funnel at the bottom. He says he cut his a little bit shorter and then add it, but he doesn't say how much shorter, and we're already kind of wiggling some of the other numbers, so I wanted to say as precise as I could. But uh, let's see. flat or sharp on some of them, but hey, we have ourselves a carrot clarinet. All right. This is fun. All right. I'm going to have fun experiment with this, and uh, this gets me excited about all the other things we can do. All right. There we have it. Carrot clarinet. Mm -hmm.